Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at hot tub pump capacitors, how we can change them, and how we know if they're bad. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so inside of a hot tub pump, there are two, in general, two different types of capacitors. There's a large one and there's a small one. Now, they come in different ranges and different sizes depending on the actual pump. So this one, for example, is a 50 microfarad and this one is a 16 microfarad capacitor. So these two have different roles. The larger of the two is the startup capacitor. And what this does is it helps your pump actually turn. So when it gets its initial charge, the rotor moves around and then the capacitor helps it get over the, the, the arc, if you like, to do the complete circle or the complete revolution uh, inside of the pump. Now it needs quite a large capacitor to actually get going. So this is why we have the startup capacitor. Once your pump gets going, this guy's role is, is done and it moves over to the run capacitor. So the run capacitor, when it's, even when it's on low or when it's on high, just helps keep that pump turning over and turning over smoothly. So how do we know if we have a bad capacitor in the pump? Well, there's two real ways of, of telling. Firstly, on your control panel, you might have a message, as uh, you can see behind me here, which says that the, that the heater is dry. So it means that the pump isn't actually running. So there's no water going through, so you get an error message. So this is the first thing to look for. The second thing to look for is you've pressed the button on your jets, the pump is running, but it's humming and there's actually nothing coming out of your jets. So there's a, a low, dull hum sound, but it's not actually turning. The way that you can check if the startup capacitor is bad, and it's usually the startup, is if you press that jet bu button once and you go into low speed mode and the, the pump won't start, if you then press it a second time to take your pump into high speed mode and it actually turns and water comes out of your jets, you press it a third time and it actually goes back down into the low speed and the pump then will continue on low speed. So this is a, a prime indication that your startup capacitor is bad. So it can't help the pump start. We can force it to start by using the high speed mode and it will run in low speed if we drop that that mode down again but it won't start from cold great indication that the startup capacitor is bad so let's take a look at how we can actually change either the run or the uh, or the startup first thing you've got to do is switch off that breaker so we know that there's no electricity uh, going into the uh, the pump at all what you've got to do now is go into your control room or if you're on a plastic shell tub, you've got to go into your housing and you've got to find your pump. Now the pumps, they all look slightly different, um, but you will find that the capacitors are either located like mine in a box on the top of the pump or it might be a more kind of cylindrical shape. But again, it will be on the outside of the pump. You're going to need to remove the cover as you can see in the uh, video behind me. Now the thing to remember with capacitors is even if there's no electricity because you've turned off that breaker, the capacitor's role is to store electricity. So there might be charge inside of those capacitors. So you've got to be really careful that you do not touch those two ends together as it will give you an electric shock. When you're inspecting the capacitors, uh, you can see often a bad capacitor, the, the ends are swollen, they, they might be discolored, it might be slightly burst. Um, that, that's a prime indication of a bad capacitor. Now, the capacitors just sit in series with um, your electrical terminals in the top of your pump. So all you're gonna need to do is, with a wrench, or with a small screwdriver, 
you're going to need to undo the nuts so that you can actually remove the uh, capacitor. You're going to put the replacement in and you're just going to do the reverse again it's really really simple and at some point your capacitor will go on your pump it is a consumable it's totally normal and this is the exact process that you're going to use to replace it so we're going to screw the capacitor back into place we're then going to put it all back into the housing and this procedure is the same whether you're replacing the run capacitor or the uh, the startup so we've seen with the startup, you might get a pump that hums and doesn't turn on low speed. If your pump is really lumpy whilst it's running on high speed, the chances are that your run capacitor has, uh, has gone and it needs replacing. So the capacitor's role is to smooth the, the pump because it's gonna take the, the, the pump, if you think it's doing a cylindrical motion, when it gets to the top, it needs a little bit more help from the capacitor to go over and complete that revolution. Bad, so we've seen with the startup, your pump just won't start. If the run capacitor is bad, the pump will sound really lumpy. It will be, it will be loud, it will be quite vibrant, and, and there will be vibrations. So again, just replace that capacitor. Like for like, you've got to match the size, so the, the microfarad rating on that capacitor is uh, is what you need to match put it all back together put the casing back on turn on your electric and you should be ready to go so turn on those jets prime your pump and uh, you may find the very first time that you uh, that you do it again the the pump doesn't start that's just because there's no charge in the capacitor to start with so you might need to jump onto high back down to low that will put some charge into the capacitor so next time you try and start from uh, from a standing start with your pump it will all work just normally hope you found this video useful see you on the next video if you've liked this video please do like share and subscribe to the channel see you on the next video